Players are here, and so is some of the machinery. But some of the businesses around here say this road construction is coming at a very bad time. Our population doubles from June 1st to September 1st. Donna Faulkner owns Encore in downtown Clinton. She says the paving project, now scheduled for Friday, will take away nearby parking spots on Post Office Square and her income. Grand Appease sees the road construction as a roadblock on what is usually his busiest day. All the people that come from the marina said they won't come down because of the traffic. The project has been postponed a few times, and Faulkner says that has hurt businesses, which work by appointment only. And they actually closed their business for these days that the town was saying they were going to pave, and then they come to work the next day and they find out it hasn't been done. The Happy Lung hasn't been too happy either. Eric Choma wanted to open this week. Friday would be great, because then we could be open for the weekend. We contacted First Selectman William Fritz, who understands the concerns, and says we will do our best to minimize the inconvenience. They do plenty of paving in the spring and in the fall. Why couldn't they have scheduled the shoreline for those times? We asked Fritz that same question. He says we had to wait for the state to approve the project, which delayed it. They then told us we had to be done before they begin paving, which is set for August 4th. And we're all just small businesses, mom and pops, trying to, you know, just stay and do our thing. While Faulkner would like the town to postpone its work until the fall, she understands the state will have to start paving next month, but she's hoping most of that work will be done at night. In Clinton, Tina Detell, News 8.